my lady friend, girlfriend, Julia, bought me a nice pink shirt. Why? Because we went to, to see Barbie. Who told you? Okay, go on. We went to see Barbie last night. I have thoughts. Okay, go on. You have thoughts? Mm-hmm. So we go out. I put my pink shirt on. Mm-hmm. I got no problem with it. I like pink shirts. Of course. We go to Century City to see Barbie. And everybody's wearing pink. Everybody everywhere is wearing pink. And there was a restaurant in the Century City Mall Plaza that was had a Barbie themed menu. It was name dropped in the movie. Century mm-hmm. City. Uh-huh. I got this paste okay, out. Okay. I got a paste out, Albertina. Yeah. It's Joseph Campbell storytelling. Yes, of course. I know what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. We go to the we, we have uh, we go to eat at the Barbie themed restaurant, and I get a pink um, smoothie, and we get pink hummus. I don't know what made it pink. I didn't trust it. And food is really good. All these people are wearing pink in the thing, having a good time, and it was so nice to see. I'm gonna say this: it was so nice to see everybody. Having fun with a thing that was not completely, like, nobody was telling, like, first of all, if they told everybody to wear pink to go to the thing, it's, like, if everybody told everybody to go bring a whip to see Indiana Jones, people didn't see it. They can suggest things at best. But they didn't even suggest this. People took it on their own accord and started wearing pink. So it was nice to see. It was nice to see everybody looking nice going out wearing pink. So all these people sitting around the restaurant, little kids, ladies, men's. I'm telling you, we're eating. Suddenly, the door of the restaurant opens. There's a dude. Ripped. Eight pack. Wearing a denim vest. Blonde hair, acid wash jeans, and Jerry Seinfeld style puffy sneakers. And he comes in the place. He goes, Hi, Barbie. This dude was Ken. I swear a Ken walked in this place, this muscle dude. And everybody first was like, Oh my God, it's Ken. And then I looked a little closer and I was like, This guy is a murderer. Oh, yeah. Like, don't hang out with this Ken. And he sits down at a table, un, uninvited, a table with like six women in their 40s and 50s. He sits down. He's like, hi, Barbies. And I looked at this dude and I was like, that's not Ken. That is Rutger Hauer from um, Blade Runner dressed like Ken. He looked like a madman hi barbies he was dressed in that look literally that look he walked in and this dude was as ripped as can be <laughs> and he terrified me no intention to see the movie what whatsoever he's probably what's, like what's wait what's there's barbie? a barbie movie yeah, there's a barbie movie yeah. yeah 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 he scared me so much and so we see that, then we have extra time. So then we go over to this restaurant to because we get, we're still waiting for the movie to start. It was like before the, we got it, still got an hour to go. So thankfully, we went to the world's slowest restaurant. A drink took thirty five minutes at this place, and it's one of those ones where the bartender's like, "You're just about to go." Like, "What's your what?" Is it? And he goes, "Hey, I just uh, this is my second day here. I just want." So you're like, "Oh, okay." It's a, Meanwhile, I st- you take a step back and you're just like, it's not your fault, my friend. It's the management shouldn't be putting a guy at the second day in the thing. So whatever. Neither here nor there. We go into the theater. It's packed. Wall to wall with Barbie. Everybody, Barbie this, Barbie that. So then I see the movie Barbie, right? In theaters now. 
And people are like, oh, what did you think of Barbie? I don't know what I thought of it even. It's the best way a Barbie movie could be. Yes. But then you can still ask yourself, should there be a Barbie movie? Yes. And then you're like, probably or probably not. That's the coin flip. But they did make one. And this is like the best way you could make a thing that maybe didn't need to exist. Is that a fair uh, approximation of things? I mean, what needs to exist, really? You could make that argument for everything. Well, the best show needs to exist because well, it brings sure, joy yes. of course. And to young people. It brings joy to young people like Liz with two Zs. Liz with two Zs. Of course. Yes. Purple. Lighter. Lighter. Yeah, Purple. very good. Dang, yeah, good memory. Um, it was joyful. It was joyful. Ken had a place to go that gonna, day. Well, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah. And I'm not joking yeah. about this. Ryan Gosling will be nominated for an Oscar for this movie. 100%. Because Margot Robbie was amazing, but she's got all the weight of the drama strapped to her back. This Ryan Gosling, he's just free to kill it in every scene he's in. He's going to be nominated for an Oscar. I know people are going to laugh at that. If Melissa McCarthy can get nominated for an Oscar for Bridesmaids, he should definitely get nominated one for this. What did she do in that movie? She wore a cap and yelled at everybody. 